Hello, I made this video in order to save you a lot of time, but let's do it from the beginning. Let's say you are working with your Python project. This project can be very complex or a small one. It can consist of many dependencies or just a few ones. In any scenario, the solution I will show will save a significant amount of time for set up your Python project and reproduce development environment that will increase your working productivity and will be easy to share your project to others. Imagine, share your project with your friend or colleagues. They run on a single command from terminal and can use your Python project without any setup steps. For this solution, we will use your Mac or Window terminal. I will use the Mac terminal in this example. Now, it's a good time to say that you have to have an anaconda to run commands in the terminal, which I will show you a little bit later. The download is from the official website I'm showing it right now. The direct link to download it both for Mac and Windows is provided in the description of this video. If you do not have it now, download it now and keep watching. If you have, go next. Next, we will have a YAML file which will execute all action that we will need. After this video, you will be able create a Conda Python environment for your project. And of course, install all dependencies within it. And what is the most important and what you want to highlight in this video? You will be able to do it in just one click, in just one command. So, do not waste our time and let's go. Part number one. You should have your Python project. That's it. It doesn't matter it's a big or small one, complex or simple. Here's mine. It's a simple workflow performing k-means clustering for unsupervised learning by SQLTern library. Then plot some results with matplotlib, structure data with pandas model, and make some calculation with numpy. Four packages. Part 2. Know which dependencies you need. This is what I finished in the first part just a few seconds ago. I'm using four packages. numpy, pandas, matplotlib, and scikit-learn. What about your project? The dependencies can be listed in your requirements.txt file. If you have it, check it. You would see similar kind of list as mine. I mean package name and its version line by line. Part number 3. Create a YAML file in the front of your project. This is what I have mentioned in this video about. Since we have a Python project and we know the dependencies, it's a good time to create this YAML file. I think the good idea is to store this file in a special folder. Let's name it install. I'm creating this YAML file by terminal with a special touch function. So do the same on your site. Touch env.yaml, where env stands for environment. Now open this file. Here's a very important moment. Look carefully. Here we will define some very important workflow parameters. First one is name. I am naming in the same as the environment name. Let's have project underscore env here. Next parameter is channel. Channels refers to where Conda, the environment management tool, is going to look to find the declared dependencies. We will use two channels. I recommend you do the same. The first one is defaults. The default channel will search all URLs under the main anaconda repo directory. And Conda Forge, which is the another space from the Anaconda team providing up-to-date packages. And the last parameter in this YAML file is dependencies. Remember which dependencies we are having. Yes, it is NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and Scikit-Learn. To make all the things more robust, let's check version of these packages if you do not have it specified in requirements.txt file. Open the terminal, type pip list and look for the packages which are your dependencies. We can see that in our example pandas version is 1.2.0, numpy is 1.20.2, matplotlib is 3.2.2 and scikit-learn is 0.24.1. Put this information in our YAML file. That's all. Save our YAML file. The hardest part is done. Basically, what is a YAML file? YAML is a digestible data serialization language that is often utilized to create configuration files and works in concurrence with any programming language. YAML is a data serialization language designed for human interaction. 
You can find a lot of similar definitions across the internet, but the best learning is doing it. So, do not stop learning and keep on. Part number 4. Run terminal command to run your YAML file. Be sure that you are in the root directory of your project folder structure. Type pwd in your terminal and check it. You should see the install folder in which our YAML file is stored. If you see the same, very good. Now we will create a virtual environment with all dependencies we need in one click in one command. Write the command conda space env space create do dashes file install env dot iml which stands for yaml minus n project underscore env this is the name of our environment and press enter take your cup of coffee and relax wait a few seconds till your virtual environment will be set up and all dependencies will be installed results let's quickly check the results and finish this tutorial so activate your virtual environment with conda activate project underscore env and now we are ready to run the same file app.pi i see that it's running as expected perfect that is all that i want to show you today help this channel to grow subscribe and see you in the next video never stop learning bye bye